For you white-tailed deer hunters and DIYers, let's take a closer look at a few hides to determine what hair is suitable for comparadons. In all cases, we're primarily interested in the hair down the center of the back, from the base of the neck to the rump, and roughly 8 inches in width. On this hide, the hair is beautiful, but probably a little too long and coarse for comparadons. A slip of paper tucked behind a layer of hair tells the story. Long black tips that aren't especially hollow won't flare enough to produce a good wing. A hide from another deer shows uneven coloration and tips, also not great for comparadons. The sample has a tremendous amount of fluff between the hairs as well, which can cause problems. This skin is from a younger deer and its hair is much finer than that of the previous two hides, which is good. You can really see the difference comparing the two. Unfortunately, both its coloration and tips are very uneven and therefore unacceptable for comparadons. Here's what you're really looking for. Relatively short, fine hair with distinct, even color banding and tips that are also even and without a lot of black at the ends.